Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the 3 p.m. Eastern Global Guided Meditation Fall for January 26, 2019. Notice yourself when you're in a hurry, rushed, angry. Stressed, and, and, and other things that have you ever noticed that when you appreciate the life that you're in, none of those things happen. They don't happen. And if they try to, they're dismissed so quickly that you don't even know they came. So, it is about being aware of who we are, what we are, being clear. You know, this is all goes, goes to the mastering. And no matter what, seriously, and people say, well, that's just almost impossible. I can't do that, you know. But you see, this civilization, it has two choices. One is self-annihilation. Two is ascension into peace, joy, prosperity, and very, very, very long life. So, you know, you kind of look at the two. Of course, there's some people on the planet that feel very, like, you know, it's why live and that type of thing. You don't realize it until you get out of the body and you start saying, wow, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done that. I wish I wouldn't have spent so much time worrying, stressing, and fearing. Because it takes up your lifeline. You think about that. And, and not only that, when you stress, worry, and fear, and you're angry, and you're rushed, and you're hurried. Do you ever notice what happens? Do you ever, you ever notice? Do you ever take a step back when you're hurried and rushed? And, and what, you, what it feels like? And, and what, it, what usually happens? You get angry. You get frustrated. You get exasperated. And you start, you, you know, grabbing things and talking to yourself and saying this and saying that. And, uh, and then more things come in, more, more of the same, more, more, more uh, honorary uh, energy comes in, and more of this and more of that. And, and before you know it, you know, you start telling, well, you know, I've had a rotten day and blah, 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 because you created it. And this is all about, you counteract that. How do you counteract that? How do you counteract that when it starts coming in? You literally say... Quite frankly, I am happy, I am grateful, I am thankful, I appreciate my existence. I appreciate being in this body. And, and thank you, body, for carrying me around, and thank you for operating. And you, you know, you become close relations with your, your body and your spirit. You're, you're into that oneness of understanding. So the body and the spirit are in harmony. And then you're in harmony, and you feel released and happy and joyous. And if you keep yourself in that fold of energy, your life will blossom. It will expand, and it will attract phenomenal things. Things that you've chased in this existence, this life, things that you have, uh, you know, uh, grappled and grabbed and tried to catch and reach, they'll all come to you. Your life will shift, it'll switch. But when you are in turmoil, stress and fear, anger, anxiety, all of those things, and we talk about this, and we and, and it must it, it's got to be clear for everyone whenever they are operating on this planet. 
you cannot go there. It's, it, you know, don't you ever notice how it feels? It feels old and dank. And, and you know the feeling it gives you because the feeling it gives you is crappy. And it, it takes a while to recover, doesn't it? Doesn't it take a while to recover? Uh, when, when you get there, and it could be anything. It could be just a thought that, that projects you into that field of that goopy energy, that, that dankness. And so when you get to that, when you know that, see, this is so important that you know it. And you say, oh, here it comes. All right, I know what to do. What can I be thankful and grateful for? You start naming it all. You start naming them all. You know, I'm thankful for my hands, my fingers. I'm thankful for my toes, my ears, my eyes. I'm thankful for my lungs, my kidneys, my liver. I'm thankful and grateful. You just start going through. I, I do what you call a body thankfulness. I, I go through the, the different parts of the body, and, and I genuinely, from the heart, mind, say, I, I'm really thankful. I say it to myself. You know, Sometimes I'll say it out loud. I'm walking out in public, and someone will say, did you just say thank you for your kidneys? And I say, yeah. And then I get in a conversation. And so you, you you do this and you practice this and you begin to get into the harmony and the understanding and the gratitude and the thankfulness and appreciation. And you begin to understand what and who you are. Your bliss, your joy, your happiness. What the heck are you doing entertaining all of these low frequencies? This garbage, this crap, look what it does. It accelerates the deterioration of the physical vessel. That's what it does, right? Breaks it down, attacks it, stress, fear, anxiety. You, you know, I'm sure you can research that. If you haven't already to find out what that stuff does to the physical body. What it does to your existence, what it does to your happiness and your joy and your, and your higher frequencies, it sabotages it. No? People say, well, that's just part of humanity. That's just part of life. Yeah, it's part of this world. It's part of this matrix. Uh, suffering. You know, that's this. Why would, why would we entertain that if we're moving up and we're elevating? So, appreciation, thankfulness, gratefulness appreciation thankfulness and gratefulness all day every day during the course of your day evening and night i mean it's you, you practice it. it you begin and you don't just you know, even if you did it without emotion you just did it well i'll do this exercise it would still affect you it would still affect you and by doing this and practicing this you know, and by all of humanity, all of us, all of civilization, eventually coming to that understanding, things begin to change. Your life, your life changes. Everything changes. And I'm not talking for the worse. I'm saying much better. Do you think about all the times you spend thinking about all those lower frequencies and being occupied? by all of those lower frequencies. How much of your existence is spent in those lower frequencies of thinking, worrying, stressing, fearing, you know, and fretting. It, 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 you'd be blown away and if you could calculate how much time you spend doing that. It's just astronomical. So, if you will, go to a place where you're not going to be interrupted. I'm sure most of you are. And as I talk, relax the body, relax yourself. Ease. Just fold back. You know, it's like sitting in a really comfortable chair after you're, you've had a, uh, a day of expended energy. And you just kind of lean back and you go, I just, all I care to do is just sit and be quiet and peace. You get that image in your heart, mind, and just flow with it. Just relax every part of your body, head to toe. Everything that you know is heavy energy. Roll off of you. Drop away. Disintegrate. You always have your purple transmitting 
flame friend. You always have your violet ray friend. You can always call those in. You can always, you know, there's all, so many things you can do to relax the body. You can do Ho'oponopono. You can do so many different areas of applications and understandings and different knowledge and wisdoms that you can pull from. But relax the body, clear it, get rid of the chatter in the mind, Put the, make sure the ego is asleep. And while I am talking, you're going to want to breathe. You want to breathe through the nose and out the mouth. And as you breathe through the nose, you inhale, you hold it, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and you exhale through the mouth. And you want to do that about six or more times as I'm talking. And as you breathe in through the nose, you're breathing in divine positive energy. And it's always awakening. It's always comforting. It's always expanding your awareness when you breathe this divine energy in. And as you breathe in, you're breathing in the essence of peace, joy, love. And it replaces all of the energies that you entertain in the lower rungs of selfishness, distress, anger, fear, criticism, judgment, ridicule, all of these things. And as you breathe in, those are eliminated. They're, they're vaporized. And these come in to replace them. You begin to elevate. You can feel the vibration. You can feel it in your heart and mind. You can feel the joy. Whenever, you, whenever you're looking for joy, go within because that's where all the joy is. And as it expands and you become much more aware and masterful. This is Prime Source Creator God communicating with you at the highest level through your higher self. So to your divine being, you're precious. You are of the highest light energy. I created you. That's what he's saying. You are made in my image. And so, you vibrate that. That's your natural state. As you exhale, you're exhaling all the blockages. You're just letting them go. You're bringing in the purple transmuting flame and you're neutralizing all of it into neutralized substance and it's drawn off and sent back to the great central sun for repurposing. So you have all of this energy, all of this joy that's replacing all of the goo. That, and I know because we all attach it day in, day out, night in, night out, morning in, morning out. We expel it. It's gone. We're light. We then fold in to our heart mind. And as we fold into the heart mind, we begin to move up. All of our frequencies, all of our fiber, all that we are, we move up effortlessly. We're elevating effortlessly. And as we're doing this, we become immersed in all of this energy, this flowing, this beautiful, this absolutely spectacular, loving, embracing energies of the golden white pink light of prime source creator God's deep eternal love of the emerald green healing flaming light you carry those you are those purple transforming flame violet ray and the white fire these are these are as I you, you as you move up more and more of this you experience the day eventually will come where you will just be healed immediately with the little green flame
flaming healing light at your command. Saturate our 
entire body, both etherically and physically, penetrating, flooding, saturating, with immense, deep, eternal love, joy, peace, and prosperity, and happiness, humbleness, kindness, goodness. And we see, we look, and we see no darkness. We see only light. Our circle has grown in such light that we're brighter than all the suns in the universe. We look and we see our brothers and sisters, our, uh, the human civilization, all beings of the planet, all light. And we set forth a field of deep, eternal love energy that we breathe out across the planet, penetrating each and every human and each and every being and each and every form of life. This is a golden, shimmering mist light. And it adheres to all life on this planet. And it saturates and penetrates and it elevates all of the civilization, everyone. It eliminates destruction. It eliminates cynicism. It eliminates hatred. It eliminates anger. And it does it through its intensity of deep eternal love. It literally disperses these frequencies as it passes, as it literally absorbs itself into each and every life. And whether they know it or not, those that are asleep, those that are confused, find a new strength of joy and bliss and happiness coming up from within them. Their heaven that they're unaware of is about to burst forth. And wherever they're going, they touch everyone else. We become a golden ocean of deep gratitude, appreciation, thankfulness, gratefulness, joy for ourselves and each other, for all life. And it continues to expand. And the view is magna glorious. It is stupendous. It is phenomenal. And the experience that we're in, fine-tuning ourselves, increasing our vibrations, moving more and more into joy, love, peace, and prosperity, gratitude, thankfulness, and appreciation for ourselves, for all that we are, and for all of our brothers and sisters. Be in it. Experience it. This is truly heaven on earth. I'll join you in the meditation, and I'll return to close this out.
know that we've been in this uh, matrix long enough, way too long, and it's time that we elevate ourselves out of it, and that's exactly what we're doing. And we're helping everything and everyone as we do that. It should, it should flood you with a joy and a bliss, and then knowing this, that that, that uh, energy, that emotion, that feeling in the physical is constant. And you, each time you immerse yourself with it, you really realize what your divine energy, your, your God spark is. You, you, you experience who and what you are. Every time you're in joy, you experience who and what you are. Every time you're in happiness, you experience who and what you are. Um, the, those low frequencies that we did, that we talk about, those are uh, a different existence. That's why it makes us so uncomfortable, and that's why it does the damage it does to us because it is foreign. It is not organic with who we are. Okay. You look at the two feelings. You look at the two responses. The two. Uh, the two pictures from your heart mind and you realize and you see who you really are. You're the joy and the happiness and the bliss and the unselfishness and the gratitude and the contentment and the happy. I mean, you're, that's you. That's us. And that's what they've tried to keep us away from. No more. We expand and we grow. We change. Everything. Take it with you the rest of the day, into the evening, into the night, into the morning. Feel it. Experience it and express it. Express it to yourself. And it, 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 even if you're alone or by yourself, express it to whoever you can think of, to everyone. The joy and the bliss and the happiness. Because remember... We're all in the golden ocean together. We're all there. So we will have a Q&A call tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll do a real hello and a couple of key things real quick, and then we'll go right into Q&A so people can ask a variety of questions, and we'll do the best to 